Welcome everyone to another live stream lesson. If you've ever th wished that your strumming hand could be more fluid, more flexible, more accurate, then this is gonna be a great lesson for you. I am gonna be leading you through some exercises to bring more flexibility to your hand in today's episode, which is gonna be all about how to make your strums feel less stiff. Now, I hope you're willing to stick around for this lesson. I've got some new things to share with you in a moment. I wanna say hello to everybody in the chat joining me live. If you're watching this as a replay or live, let me know where you are in the comments and thank you so much for joining me. A drop of practice is worth an ocean of theory. So what I'm gonna lead you through is not uh, something that we just do once. It's meant to be a daily practice we're going to go deep, but please don't get depth confused with seriousness. That's a mantra of mine and the vibe of my whole channel here, depth, not seriousness. So let's get playful. Today, we're going to be playing through some fun music as well. After we practice it, we're going to be playing a tune. I'd like to share with you um, the new and I think improved outline for these live streams, hopefully ending in about 35, 40 minutes. My plan is after I teach you a technique, we're going to learn how to practice it. We're gonna apply it to a song and jam something that everybody can join in. I'll of course, as always, layer more complex things in there for you. Then I'm gonna play a tune for you. In this week, I'm gonna play a song that we played last week. In the future, I'll be playing more like, you know, typical, you could say, ukulele music. Today, I'm gonna to do something you can join in with me, something that I, I love to play every day with my little son. And then we'll end with a brief universal mindfulness meditation, something that you can apply to your music making and to your life to bring more peace, to bring more stability and joy into your life. So are you ready to join in? Come on, let's get into it while we're getting started. I want to say hello. Please, if you haven't already, go click that subscribe button. Appreciate you joining me for this live stream lesson. I have a whole library of all kinds of videos I've made over the years. All of my videos are meant to be studies that you can go into with depth, not seriousness, depth, okay? So please watch this again. We're going to Keep on moving as we go through the lesson, starting in just one minute. But I got to say hello to all the sweeties in the house. My goodness, we got a lot of folks from all over the U.S., from Canada. Hey, Bill Zombeck is here from Arizona. Good to see you. We got Savannah, Georgia in the house. We got the Netherlands in the house, Maine in the house. We've got California, Oklahoma, Seattle. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we got Paris in the house got North Hollywood in the house, Dusseldorf, Germany in the house, Jefferson Hunt from Tampa Bay in the house, Michael from the mountains of California. Always good to hear from you, man. All right. Thank you. If you uh, dig what you're seeing, please share this link. Let's get into today's lesson, okay? The song, by the way, I'm going to play for you, is going to feature this very special, easy-to-play instrument, called the strum stick. Can't wait to share this with you. This is a ton of fun and I have a link to it in the description below. So let's get right into things. Please, uh, if you haven't already, print out the song sheet. Or you just follow along right here if you're a patron. It's uh, right there at the link down below. So first, the lesson. Can we do it? Come on in tight. <clears throat> Please shut out distractions. This is meant to be something that you stick with Work through the resistance you may feel. Exercise is this. We're going to learn to strum with a fluid hand. Can I demo? strumming to demonstrate how I can be loose and still accurate in my timing. So here is the first exercise. Hold your hand up like this and I want you to focus on the hack. Okay, the, the tip I have for you today is 
focusing on a fluid wrist. Connect with your instrument, whatever instrument you're playing, whether it's an itty bitty soprano or a massive baritone, rest your arm on it and just move through the air right now. And move through the air slowly, okay? Slowly. Feel a fluidity, a fluidity in your motion. So go ahead, right now, just join me and I am just brushing the air with my index finger. Yes, you can strum with your thumb. For now, just stick your index finger out, touch lightly with the thumb, and then just do this with me, okay? This is exercise one. Now, this is something you wanna do often and you can go deeper by bringing your senses into it, okay? Look at it. I know you're watching me, thank you for hanging out. But now look at your body so you send a message back to your brain making the biofeedback loop happen. You dig? The brain is sending a signal to the hand, the eyes are receiving it back, and you are wiring the neural net deeper to know that I don't have to bang on this thing to make a beautiful sound, okay? So feel what that feels like as you brush the strings. Check it out, my friends. When I brush, <laughs> very light and if you take a look at my fingertip you can see how the fingertip is it's almost surrendered to the strings do you see how it's like it's like it's moving with each stroke down and up down and up me saying this is nice but you doing it is what's going to teach it so let's form the habit let's just strum down and up with a fluid wrist and a light touch join in with me right now open strings wonderful everybody keep going one two three see if you can count and watch one two time one two three and release that is the preliminary exercise now float your hand up like this send it over your back and give yourself a pat on the back for being willing to work on something yeah of course we jam we just start tunes I start tunes I love to play them but when it comes time to refining our skills it's a slightly different attitude where we're going a little deeper and we're trying to polish the diamond. So watch this video again. That is a powerful, powerful, powerful exercise. And if you're still with me, please give this video a thumbs up and let's go deeper by adding the chords to the song, okay? We're gonna check out some other strums and rhythms, but let's see if we can just lock in with the song You'll see that you can, and this is a song, you know, Polly Wally Doodle. If you've never heard a Cajun band, I know my friend Pete, Pete Gaskin up in north of New York State, he plays with some funky bands. He knows what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. If you've ever heard a Cajun New Orleans band play this, this is not a kid song. This is a party song, okay? So let's release any idea that this is a kitty witty song. This is a classic jam tune. Notice the structure. There are three chords. You can play it with just two. I've included the C, changing to C7, so you get a richer harmony. I want to practice this with a jam track, a little spontaneous drum beat for you here. I'm going to start it up, and uh, it's funky, right? Let me know if that's too loud in the chat. Yeah, Grant, I hear you. Nan, thanks for joining me. Vincent, thank you. All right, so what we're going to do is just... You can start by just fluidly moving through the strings and your mission, should you choose to accept it, <laughs> is to stay fluid and to stay in the body. You know, tap your foot, stay in the body by looking at it, feel it. Get that biofeedback loop. We're gonna add some other rhythm in a moment, but just strum an F chord. Ready? One, two, here we go. Well, I went down south to see my gal. 
Polly Wally doodle all the day. Style, she is a spunky gal. Polly Wally doodle all the day. Keep it loose, fare thee well. Fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. Oh, I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susiana singing Polly Wally doodle all the day. F, I see a typo in the chorus there. I'm going to fire my editor. Going to cut off his hair. Come on. Fare thee well, fare thee well. Fare thee well, my fairy fay. Oh, go to Louisiana, so to see my Susanna singing Polly Wally Doodle all the one more. Oh, my Sal, she is a maiden fair. Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Pearly eyes and laughing hair. Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Oh, fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana, for I see my Susanna singing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Come on. La 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 la. La la la, lock into the beat. La 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 la, la 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 la. All right, let's take a break right there and cut it. Hey, thanks so much for hanging. What we're doing there is just locking in with a very simple rhythm. It's not uh, meant to be the rhythm we're going to perform with. It's meant to be something that we can lock in with and keep a fluid feeling in our hand and a light contact, okay, light contact. That is one of many keys to making your strums less stiff, okay? So friends, let's now add another layer to this and we're gonna play, we're gonna slow down the beat so we can play a more involved rhythm. A lot of rhythms you can play on this, and I encourage you just to jam and do your thing. But I'm just going to come in close and show you a really cool pattern to start with. While this is beginner friendly, you can go deep into this and add a lot of nuance. Check it out. We're going to play one, just bouncing off the low strings, one, and then Two and is down up, three is light, and just the bottom strings, four and, okay? So you could think of it as down, but a little down, down up, down, down up, okay? Let's do this with a solid tempo. I'll slow it down here, one. So it'll sound like this. to just the F. turned up the track I can turn it up some more and uh, I'll do that right now now let's add another layer to this you have this basic rhythm the bass rhythm of boom ditty boom ditty boom ditty every once in a while put an up down up and that pattern sounds like this boom ditty boom ditty boom ditty wait up down up boom, ditty boom ditty boom ditty space up down up See how I'm putting some space in there? You've probably strummed something similar to this, but what I'm asking you to do is just to bring a little more attention to how you lock in to the tempo and keeping it fluid. Come on, let's do it. I'm going to bring the song sheet back and let's jam with this jam track. Thank you for joining me, Johan. Thank you, Jefferson. Thank you, Paul. Whoops. Turn that down a little bit so we can lock it. Boom, dagger, boom. First step, a good one is to say it like this. Boom, jacka, boom, jacka, boom, jacka, a da da boom, daga, boom, daga. Try it now. T 
take a break right now. Take your hands off and let's do it again. We're gonna do three times. Here is number two. Get ready. One, two, lock in. Let's do it. Boom. Please let go. Let's do it a second, a third time. Lock in. Get ready. All right. Two, three. Here we go. Light. And let's do one final one. Fourth to really drive it in. You see what we're doing? We're refining it, we're relaxing, and we're making sure that our efforts are relaxed but precise. Keep it fluid, keep on smiling. Ready, two, let's do it, come on. Watch it. everybody now let's jam the whole tune are you feeling good let me know in the chat how you are doing if you are enjoying this video do me a huge favor and click that like button share it with your friends and I forgot to mention at the top of the episode an important announcement that next week I won't be here live because next week the first night of Hanukkah I am kicking off an eight-part video series Every day of the Festival of Lights, every day for the holiday of Hanukkah, there's going to be a different video. We're going to have a lot of fun. Even if you don't celebrate Hanukkah, you will love this lesson. So stay tuned here to the YouTube channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to keep in the loop of this. You could also sign my mailing list. There are links in the, in the description down below. Please check those links out and sign my mailing list. I've got a lot of really fun things in store for you. So next week, no live stream, but next week is the first night of Hanukkah next Sunday. So thanks very much for joining me. Now, friends, let's keep on moving. Remember, after we learned the technique, we started to apply it. We're going to now jam the whole song. And we're going to learn another skill that, uh, you know, you don't just do this once, we practice this every day, and that is to feel that pulse going through the song as we read the song sheet and as we read the box notation. Every one of those boxes is four beats, so when we're strumming, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, try to see the box, there would be C, C7, two, three, four, C7, two, four, C7, and then F, and it starts again. F, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, F, fourth box, C. Try to train yourself to see the bouncing ball, which I'm trying to simulate with this. Give yourself a big round of applause and a pat on the back for doing something. My ukulele lessons are... Uh, they're meant to help you to grow in your skills. I like to think that I teach music, not only the ukulele. And a big music skill is reading charts like this, okay? You can show up at any tiki bar in the world, and if you have a box chart, you drop it in front of the band, and they will love you because you gave them, you've given them a clear outline to jam the tune. All right, let's do this. Let's put it all together. Don't feel like you have to stay... Uh, imprisoned by this strum change it make it simple add other things if you want to add a flick or a chuck here and there whatever you want to do let's sing the song try to ignore that that stuff down there the second line is just c7 straight across the way and let's do this and um maybe uh maybe i can take a solo i'll put on my headset so i can loop a little bit are you ready to do this let me know in the chat if you are ready to do this, thank you for joining me, and I appreciate uh, all the patrons helping the channel to grow. I'm going to night school, as you can see, uh, upping my skills every time so I can serve you better. 
So friends, let's do it. Are you ready to jam? Bring back that beat at that slower tempo. One, two, three. So right now, before you play, feel that bouncing ball going across the page. F2, F2. Third box, fourth box. C7. Come on, let's jam. Ready? Well, I went down south door to see my gal. Polly Wally doodle all the day. Oh, my Sal, she is a spunky gal. Singing Polly Wally doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie Anna. Singing Polly Wally doodle all the day. Oh, my Sal, she is a maiden fay. Sing Polly Wally doodle all the day. Curly eyes and laughing hair Polly Wally doodle all the day Fare thee well, fare thee well mm, Fare thee well, my fairy fae For I'm going to Louisiana For to see my Susie and a singing Polly Wally doodle all the day Verse 3 A grasshopper sitting on a railroad track Singing Polly Wally doodle all the day Picking his teeth a carpet tack singing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Oh, fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie and I'll sing and Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Appreciate you joining me for this lesson. Watch it again because the thing is with all of this is that it's a practice. It's not meant to be something we visit once. I put out a lot of YouTube content, but my intention is that with each one, hopefully you sit with it, spend maybe a week even on just one lesson, go back and rewind the things. Remember the way we practiced was to shoot darts, right? Line up one correct motion at a time and then let go. Line up another one, let go. It feels like you're going slower, but you're actually going to get to your goals faster because you're 
stacking successes on top of one another. This is how I've progressed in my music throughout my whole almost 25 year uh, run of, of teaching and performing around the world is to make the process one of repetition with kindness, make your practice a place where you just keep coming back and it feels good because you know when you sit down to practice, you're making progress. All right. Are you feeling good? Let, hit me up in the chat, friends. Let me know how you doing. And um, and if this was mind blowing for you, then mission accomplished. <laughs> mind blowing in the sense that, you know, maybe we're not thinking about it as much as we are feeling it. It takes time. And if you're enjoying yourself along the way, then that's a cool thing. It takes time, more time to enjoy it. Thanks so much, everybody. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you keep in the loop of what I'm offering. I am going to uh, be next week starting an eight-part video series for the holiday of Hanukkah. Every night, a different video. We're going to learn strums, melodies. It's going to be a hoot. So uh, even if you don't celebrate, this is going to be some good skills and fun songs that you will learn. So check that out. And if you missed the Caribbean ukulele uh, webinar, it's available now at my um, website. There's a link down below. And last but not least, I got to give a lot of love and respect. Thank you to everyone who is a patron of my channel. Thank you so much. You're helping to send me to night school for video production. And uh, there are a lot of perks and benefits. I uh, look forward to serving you in the future with more videos with more lessons more community building so please check the links down below if you'd like to get the uh, printable version for this and just to in general support the channel mahalo thank you well muchisimas gracias spasibo merci beaucoup cheers and thank you so i'm going to perform a song for you now the song i'm going to perform is and the idea, of course, is that a good music teacher just doesn't throw something out there and then forget about it. Remember how last week we learned... Thanks a lot. In future broadcasts, I'm going to, you know, as I said, every week I'm going to be playing a tune. I'll be playing things that are more, you know, traditional, you could say, ukulele things, things from my solo playing and but since it's thanksgiving this week and since it's such a beautiful song and since it's worth it to go deeper into things i wanted to play thanks a lot i'm gonna play it on a combination of my ukulele and strumstick thank you for joining me everyone there are links down below if you would like to support by joining as a patron. There will be a meditation following this. Please join in with me. This is a song that you can strum along with. The full lesson is actually, um, is actually last week's live stream. You can check it out. One chord. Just strum softly and feel it. And I hope you'll sing along with me in this beautiful song of gratitude. Oh, spasibo. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly to my friends in, uh, in Russia. Uh, Michael, thank you for practicing it. Thanks a lot, Jason. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Grant. Yeah. So we got to keep reviewing things. You know, it's a, uh, these days, you know, it's so much content out there and I get it. I consume a lot of it too, but there's something about going deep into one thing. All right. So mahalo. Thank you. Let's do this together. You may like to just listen and kick back while I set it up. This is a strum stick. I'll be sharing much more of this in the future. There's a link down below in the video description.
I hear that. Peter, you mentioned. That's very interesting. Oh, that might have been my foot. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Let's just jam for a moment. It's one chord. Someone is typing. I'm sorry to interrupt the song, but there's something going on here. <laughs> Thanks for the wonder in me. I hear typing. Who's out there? Please say hello. This is a far out episode. Wow. I'm hearing someone's computer audio. Hope I haven't been hacked. Well, friends. Thanks for the animals. Thanks for the men. in my studio, friends. So I have no idea how someone's audio could be joining me for what I'm doing right here. Well, friends, I, uh, I normally wouldn't just, you know, talk and, and uh, talk over a performance like this, but this is so far out that I have no idea uh, what is going on. And, uh, so strumstick is three strings. I normally tune it to D, A, D. This is two, that's why it's going a little out of tune because I tuned it down to C to match the open C major chord in the song sheet. And it's a bit, it's a cross, it's a hybrid between a mountain dulcimer and a banjo. It has the tone of a banjo. And like a mountain dulcimer, it has a set tuning in its fretting. So you can hear it's a scale as you move up.
Whoever's microphone is open, just say hello so I know who you are. Don't be shy. Go ahead, say hello. I hear you, man. Everybody hears you. Okay, I am uh, going to end this broadcast early, friends, because honestly, I don't know if I'm being hacked. I heard you, friends. Please say hello. I'm asking you please to say hello. So there's typing and there's somebody, uh, Terry Garcia. I apologize, everybody. This is not the way I intend my lesson to go. Um, yeah, it is called strumming hack, Andre. Very, very clever. Uh, my goodness. Well, my friends, I'd like to end with a very brief mindfulness meditation then, just in case there is some nefarious intent going on. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Gosh, this is uh, I was premiering all my new bells and whistles, but I wasn't expecting this to happen. Vincent, thank you very much for your support, your super chat. Let's all uh, join together by bringing some attention to our breathing, breath in the present moment. The goal of meditation, not to become superhuman, but to see that's being human is super so take a moment just to allow your attention to settle on your breathing and the practice is the training is to keep your attention on the breath all the way in all the way out And this is a wonderful opportunity for me personally to practice as naturally with this um, situation of someone else's audio, someone else's feed, if part of this broadcast is something for me to be okay with in the sense of I just am watching the thoughts go by. My breath is my anchor. So please join me following your breath all the way in. All the way out. Training in the act of watching but not engaging with thoughts. For example, why is this happening? Why is someone's audio now part of my broadcast when there's no one around but me? watch it go by I hear you breathing sounds like a man's breath maybe you're meditating with me since I can hear you I wish you would just say your name you can use a fake name say hello Thank you, Michael. Thank you all. Train in concentration. The breath flowing in and out. can play a game and use your fingers to help you track five breaths. You drop something, sir. I hear a child. You have a family?
So several times during the day, I do this with an instrument as well. The sound carrying me back to the present moment, watching thoughts go by as if I'm the banks of the river. So being human is super, and it's a uh, wonderful gift to be alive. Thank you for joining me. This is an interesting twist to the end of this uh, broadcast. Hope you can join me next week for the uh, Hanukkah program. Many thanks, everybody. I'm going to sign off now and uh, try to figure out why there's somebody hacked into my audio feed. Thanks for joining me. Do stay tuned to my channel for more tips, tricks, good times. Uh, if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, a like. Maybe you can help me figure out why this is going on. I'll do my research. Wishing you all the best, everybody. And thanks again to everybody who is a patron, a supporter of my channel. Thank you. I wish you and your family all the best. Happy music making. Happy strumming. Thanks.